Couples thinking about having a baby want to do everything they can to make sure they have a healthy child, and that could include something like seeing a genetic counselor to talk about possible health risks. Fox Toledo's Katie Thompson is on assignment with a few common disorders doctors can help identify in couples to see if they're carriers. Genetic counseling can help patients who have a family history of a certain genetic disease. Couples can then choose to have additional screening and testing done to see what the risk is of passing that condition on to their child. A lot of patients see a certain risk as being worse than maybe another patient might see. So it really depends on, on what the patient wants to know, how much information they want, how much information they need to make the best decisions with their pregnancy. The most common um, disorder in the Caucasian population is cystic fibrosis, and it's known as an autosomal recessive gene or disease, which means that both parents have to carry a gene mutation in order to have a child with the disorder. If parents are carriers, CAPE says the next step is to see a genetic counselor to discuss additional testing that can be done prenatally to see whether or not the baby has inherited the disease. Within the African American population, the most common disorder is sickle cell disease. Another common disorder is fragile X syndrome. It's the most common form of mental retardation and usually affects males. Um, it's also been linked to autism. And that's another, that's a, that's a disease that's passed down through the mother. Mom can go through two different types of testing if she chooses, either a screening test, which is done during the first trimester, where there is no risk to the baby, or diagnostic. In terms of diagnostic tests, um, the two that are available are uh, chorionic villus sampling in the first trimester and then amniocentesis in the second trimester. And what a diagnostic test can do is it looks specifically at the baby's chromosomes. With the diagnostic test, you're trading in a slight risk for miscarriage. For those uh, families uh, who um, think that uh, prenatal diagnosis, that is uh, uh, finding out about the health of the unborn baby, is only for the purpose of not continuing the pregnancy is incorrect. On assignment, Katie Thompson, Fox Toledo News.